Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Post Interview. Today we have invited Mr. David Ham, the CEO of Scanner Chain. Not an unfamiliar face we see today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So starting off, today is a very meaningful day for Scanner Chain, I guess, because today you guys formed a understanding of partnership with BTCC Korea. That's right. So can you enlighten us on the partnership? Yeah. So um, obviously everyone knows BTCC, and hopefully you guys know Scanner Chain. Um, so we we've partnered with uh, BTCC. Uh, you know, they are launching in Korea and uh, uh, as a, a launch partner, uh, one of the things that we're going to do with them is, is help get the message out, uh, spread the word, uh, build up the awareness for BTCC. Mm -hmm. As well for us, uh, you know, working with a, a trusted name in the industry, a pioneer in the industry, uh, it's about also uh, being able to offer our services uh, to a wider uh, range of people. Right? Mm -hmm. So. Uh then uh, I am not quite sure if I am you know, obliged to ask this or not, but uh, since you guys will be assisting in the launching of BTCC Korea, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to see SWC coin uh, in the <laughs> BTCC exchange as well. Yeah, so I mean, I, I, I won't say anything yes or no here, uh, but obviously uh, a partnership with BTCC is very meaningful for us in a number of ways. Um, so you could, you could say that you know, this is potentially precursor to listing on, on BTCC. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, stay tuned, follow us and follow <laughs> BTCC and, and, and we'll definitely provide uh, further updates on that. So moving on to scan a chain uh, the biggest change that you guys experienced before the last, uh, well, since the last interview was that you guys finished your token sale. Yeah. So how was the token sale, how did the token sale go and yeah. Well, how did it go? Yeah, so token sale went fairly well. Um, now, the, the market is quite slow, right? So uh, the crowd sale was a little bit slower than we had anticipated. Uh, so, you know, we didn't necessarily hit full hard cap with the crowd sale, but we had a lot of private sales, right? And that's kind of how the industry is moving right now, right? Uh, whereas last year, uh, a lot of companies closed out their, their uh, token generation events with uh, the crowd. Uh, for us, uh, there was a lot more focus on the private side, right? Um, on the crowd sale side, because you know the markets with Ether and BTC and all the all the prices being down, uh, you could say the, the the confidence level was not as high. But overall, for us, uh, we ended off on success. Um, we've distributed all our tokens to all of our uh, investors, uh, and and obviously we've listed on exchange as well, right? So. So uh, according to the roadmap, August was planned for a global uh, expansion. Uh, and there had indeed been global expansion ever since the token sale. Uh, many partnerships, uh, Will O'Brien, oh my god, uh, Siren Labs partnerships. So when it comes to partnerships and team members, what progress has Scanchain made? Yeah, so uh, Will O'Brien was, uh, you know, he came on board uh, quite early. But, um, you know, the, the value that he brings to us is that, you know, he, He's very well known, very uh, experienced in the industry, brings a lot of knowledge and depth to our, our service uh, as well. Um, it, it, it'll bring a lot of, uh, you could say, direction in how we launch the service in different markets. Now, Siren Labs uh, is very significant because um, it's the very first blockchain phone in the world. Um, scan -to Chain's uh, scan to search service will be pre-listed in the D app. Uh, and we'll also have SWC listed in their hot and cold wallet. Right? Mm -hmm. so, so that'll be significant in that uh, anyone that uses or purchases a Siren Labs phone will have our services there, right? Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's just another step in the direction of really getting uh, these value add services uh, into the hands of people who will use them. So uh, another partnership that caught my eye was iFashion, which is the one actually that I've been waiting for, some a commercial use maybe. So yeah. could you elaborate on that as well? Yeah, so iFashion Group is uh, based out of Singapore, um, and, and they have a number of brands under their group. So uh, they have a number of retail brands, like physically in stores. Uh, they have a number of online shops, uh, e-commerce. Uh, they're also the organizer for one of the largest uh, outdoor events in, in Singapore called Art Box Singapore. Uh, they attracted about a million people. Now the significance of our partnership with them is that we're actually going to bring this to real life. So uh, utilizing AR, uh, scan to search, and, and connecting it up with uh, shopping experience. So physical online shopping, physical AR shopping, um, you know, create experiences within the retail locations, but as well um, allowing people to scan something and purchase directly mm -hmm. online. 
So it's going to be a, 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 an experience that people have not had before uh, and really trying to deliver uh, additional value and create uh, a new paradigm in shopping. So uh, I'm very looking forward to using ScanChain you know, to buy stuff. Yep. But then the last time we met, the app was only on demo. Right. But then now it's commercially released, however, not on the iOS side. Could you uh, elaborate on how the project development is going? Yeah, so, so what's out in the market right now? It's still beta. It's still beta version. It's a public beta, so anyone could download it on Android. Now, um, just around the corner, iOS is coming. So iOS will be available very soon. I, I use iOS as well too, so it's something that I've been waiting for. Now we're gonna be launching commercially uh, just around the corner uh, in November. Mm -hmm. So at that time, uh, the actual full-fledged commercial version will come out, but what we have out there in the market right now, it won't be much different, right? So um, users who have already downloaded will have the exact same experience. And what we're doing right now internally is helping to make uh, that product better. Uh, UI uh, enhancements, a little bit of feature updates. Um, when we launched the original version, it only had Kakao login or Kakao registration, mm -hmm. but now we have Google registration. So um, we, we enable a, a greater set of people to be able to uh, register and utilize the service. So SW to SWC token was uh, scheduled to be listed on Cryptano uh, on August 13th. And uh, well, I just checked and it's doing really well. So how did the uh, listing go and any future plans may be? Yeah, um, so we listed on Cryptono Exchange a couple days ago. Um, it was uh, uh, lots of anticipation because obviously it was, it's our first listing. So it's going fairly well. Uh, there seems to be quite a lot of volume and a lot of people uh, are, are paying attention to it. Um, and we'll see how it goes, right? It's only been two <laughs> days. But um, yeah, uh, obviously that being number one, uh, we have uh, the next uh, listing coming up shortly. And uh, that's something that we will start to share uh, very soon. So I hope SWC gets listed on markets as well. And uh, I'm looking forward to see the iOS version as well on my phone. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Mr. David Hamm, the CEO of Scanachain. Thank you for watching. Thank you.